flags. I've been telling you all day you drown. Come on and go out of the water. While many don't bother reading, some have trouble even listening. Back to the red, yellow flags for me. Low tide and solid swell. With two rips running, Jesse shuttles scores of swimmers back to safety between the flags. But more people keep straying into the rip. He asks a man to move out of the rip for the second time. Hey, mate, you might be a good swimmer, but look how many people there is. Like, huh? Then you, you might be a good swimmer, there's just that many people. Good swimmer or not, just being there encourages other people to swim in the dangerous current. Just go over. Now, I told you over here to go in the flags. How many times do you need to be told? I can tell you to go in the shore. You're not allowed to swim here. Yeah, Bondi. Jet ski to Central. Oh, here, yeah, Jeff. That bloke, I've told him about 300 times to come in. Jesse, I reckon forget about him, matey. I, you know, I don't think it's really a worry. A short time later, the man arrives at the tower. Certainly, yeah. he's yeah. over the top of him. Yeah. Yeah. And when I, so I dug for a while, I then did a mouth full of his just blocked. I'm so sorry if the nose was on your behalf. It wasn't me. So sorry. That's good. And mate, thank you so much for coming up. We do get a lot of difficult customers, and you know, with such a big crowd, 35 to 40,000 people down on the beach, uh, it, you know, it's inevitable that things like this are going to happen. You know, I backed Jess, I did apologise to the guy. So, what happened, Jess? Well, I was over near the flags, you know, and then he was swimming by himself, and I go, Look, mate, I go, you, you can swim decent, you know. Look, there's thousands of people in the water. I can't keep dealing with you. Help us out, you know. We're here, yeah. you know. Been on the jet ski for the last four hours. Good swimmers should always lead by example. I knew Jess is doing his best out there. He's pulled in probably 30 or 40 people alone in the last hour. Gonzo's, you know, he's not working today. He's out there having a paddle. You know, he, he's back Jess 100%. He said the guy's an absolute nightmare. On days like this, you know, it's, it's really hard. You've, there's so many people on the beach and he's taking up his time trying to get that guy out of the water. And he was just, he was just being a pain in the ass. I've still got probably 6,000 people out there in the water that I've got to watch, so they're my priority right now, not him. A group of school children from Korea ignore warning signs and swim in Bondi's most dangerous rip. In, in, in. Come on. Language proves a problem. Do you speak English? They don't know the picture in the flex. I told them now we can swim there. Now, from now. But has the lesson sunk in? Give them a little, little advice, help them on their way. It's nice, you know? Minutes later, Maxi spots more swimmers in trouble at the same rip. They turn out to be the same kids lifeguards warned earlier on. With three swimmers to drag in, Troy and volunteer lifesavers help out. Two buddies. Maxi and Gonzo. It should be right. Just need to put them back on that bank. It's just stress for us. Not only we gotta look for look, watch them, we gotta watch 30,000 people, you know. So having people you've told numerous times not to swim in places or rescue, just frustrating. Maxi decides the first lesson didn't sink home. Your brother, where's your brother? I'm here. Yeah? Okay, mate. Right. Is that the second time you've been rescued today? <laughs> Is this the first time? <laughs> second time. And here, see our dangerous current? Uh -huh. That's why. Did you see us rescue? Uh -huh. Did you see us rescue your kids? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's very dangerous down here. And obviously... The kids come up with a solution. If you can, 
Maybe we won't, we won't get you to in time, you could drown, you know? Have a good day. And just make sure not again, okay? Sorry. Alcohol's banned on Bondi Beach, but on New Year's Day they come straight from parties, full of booze. Just have a good night. Oh, sure. Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What should I say to you? They're a real unpredictable bunch and they can turn quite quickly, so you just got to be really careful. A couple of girls jumped in the buggy for a photo opportunity and, you know, I started digging a hole to put a sign in. All of a sudden, they've just teared down the beach 100 mile an hour. They think it's hilarious. But if I have to go to an emergency, someone could drown. We're just doing our job down here, just trying to save lives. These backpackers, they wouldn't steal a police car or an ambulance. But you know, they see it as fun to steal the lifeguard's vehicle. She goes, how do you get to the pub? How do you get to the pub? <laughs> As a result of this, we've actually put kill switches in the buggies and you ain't gonna find them. Eight to ten in uh, now for, for the chick uh, and the backpackers. I look and I see these two girls are going out to sea straight in the same spot that I told them not to swim. Just I'm ducking under waves and I see one of them being picked up by a girl uh, on a board. And then behind her, I could see her friend with no assistance. There's two, three foot swell out there. Paige has been on the megaphone to these people for the last 10 minutes and they ignored him. And uh, two of them had to be rescued. Grabbed her, calmed her down, got her on the board. It was gnarly, gnarly backpackers. Well, I get back to the beach and I'm trying to be on top of it, but the Taurus bull, the horns were up and I'm livid. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah. You could, what do you, you mean? You said it's sort of like, all right out that way. No, no. I told you not to go anywhere near that. Uh, Leave us on. Uh, hey, I got that for you. She's losing it down there. Have a word to him. I don't think he's over there. What an imbecile. Yeah, no, I Mate, I just spent 10 minutes explaining not to swim here. <coughs> and he takes him straight into where I told him not to. Hey, buddy. Don't worry about it. I explained to you, mate. Don't go in there. He's trying to talk his way out of it. Oh, he was just too cool with two chicks, that's all. Oh, I just had to calm H down. He was just going to rip his head off. I had to give him a big hug. Oh, I gave him a big man hug. You did a good rescue, mate. Right. You know, once the rescue's done, it's, it's good just to walk away. You've done your job, just got to walk away. Don't get into a fight with anyone. He said, OK, yeah, stick to this area up here, you know, away from that sign. So, yeah, we went up that way a bit and we must have drifted down a bit and next thing you know, we're in trouble. So, well, you know, like, we're in trouble from him, so... I understand why he's so angry. It could have gone bad, so... Yeah, he told us that yeah. there's, you know, people who die here. Of course, I'm going to feel a little bit silly, yeah, but maybe. I wouldn't call myself an idiot. No. In Sweden, Sweden we don't have ocean like this. No, not like this at all. <laughs> Unbelievable. I was actually a bit scared. I was like, shit. I, I cannot believe that guy. I spent 10 minutes 
talk you to him. I would have, I would have ripped into those people, mate. What happened, Ash? I've been at lunch. That's right, mate. Oh, Go have nothing, lunch. Nothing, mate. Go have nothing. lunch, mate. That's right, mate. It's all right. It's all right. We're in the oh. new year, mate. Go enjoy your lunch yeah. and... Go Down at the water's edge, a group of Japanese school children are drawn to a less benign attraction. The deceptively calm water of a rip. Lifeguards are already stretched. If the dozen school children are dragged into the rip, staging a rescue will be close to impossible. Brad, is there anything we can do with the flag situation? It's just a gutter straight off from shore. And we're looking to get stuck. So that's taking the guy's attention away from the rest of the swimmers. As the risk escalates, Chapo has no option but to take firm action. Everybody out! Out! Get out of the water! Get out of, get out of the water! Yeah. Oh, Benny! 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 Get out of the water! Get out of the water! Buddy, over here! There's no time for niceties. The flags. I've been telling you all day, you're Come on, go. Out of the water. Out of the water. All of you, go. One more. Okay, you're doing my head in. Everybody, go. 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 The safety of the flags is only 50 metres away. <laughs> Finally. Oh, bloody hell, I don't get like that very often. I never get stressed like that. It was just like they were just coming from everywhere and I just had to manhandle them, pick them up one by one. We felt really outnumbered then. That's maybe why I started screaming. I didn't care, splashing water on them, carrying them out. You just got to do what you have to.